Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing out a bunch of new products. I just did an unboxing, so there's a lot of new stuff out there right now, and whether I film it or not, I'm going to be testing them all, but I think it's really fun. I mean, I personally love filming these types of videos where I'm testing out makeup for the first time, so without further ado, let's just jump into the video. I said the same sentence about 45 times now, I just, I can't get through it. I've mentioned before that lately I just haven't really been into primers, but we have a new product that I am interested in because I do love hydrating sprays and priming sprays. This is from Wet and Wild. From <laughs> Red, Red, Red and Wild. Wet and Wild, good lord, today is just, it's not, it's not happening. This is the Cucumber 3-in-1 Primer Water Prep, Set, and Refresh. It also comes in a coconut and rose, but I think I'm going to try the Cucumber one, even though I can already smell it. Oh boy. I like the little, I like the little packaging. It's really cute, so this is what I'm going to use to prime my skin today. Okay, it's very refreshing. Oh, okay, I don't want to get in my coffee. The mister is nice. The scent is not overwhelming, but it's definitely cucumber. It feels very, very refreshing. My skin feels very cool right now. Um, did it prime my skin? I don't know. Before I get into foundation, I'm going to throw on this little step that I've been doing and loving lately. This is the Charlotte Tilbury, what is it called? Hollywood Flawless Filter. This is a shade 2. I just put this like all over my face. It's fantastic. My skin looks beautiful with this on underneath. I'm obsessed with this product. This is the most inconvenient mirror setup I have because I can't see anything. Ugh, I can just like imagine having like nice, more flawless looking skin and just wearing this on vacation. Only this and just being a glowing goddess. Ugh. I'm going to use something that I've used once before and that one time was enough to tell me that I didn't really like this product But I'm going to use it again and give it a second chance I put a little bit of the Ole Henriksen or Ula Ule Ola, I don't know what it is Banana eye cream under my eyes <laughs> My god, I can't talk today um, So it's a little bit more hydrated But I'm going to go in with the new L'Oreal Infallible Full Wear Concealer um, first time I tried this, it's a thick, it's a lot, and it dried out my under eyes a little and it didn't look super pretty, but I want to give it a second chance and try it again today. It has like a huge little doe foot. People are comparing it to Tarte, Tarte Shape Tape. We're going to ignore that. But what was I saying? Oh man. We'll have been comparing this to the Tarte Shape Tape. Honestly, I think it's a lot more drying than the Tarte Shape Tape. I don't really use a Tarte Shape Tape anymore. It's been like a while. It's just not the type of concealer I've been going towards. But either way, um, I'm going to go ahead and apply this to my under eyes. I'm also going to do a little bit of spot concealing. I'm going to take my little brush. This brush is, um, I have no idea because it says nothing on it. So, ooh, that spreads out a lot more than I was thinking. Oh, wow, okay. So a little definitely goes a very long way. It definitely has full coverage. It's a thicker concealer. It doesn't look terrible on my skin, but I am quite hydrated at the moment. I have moisturizer on. Um, but yeah, under my eyes was like the main problem because it just made it look so dry. So immediately just blending it into my skin, it just doesn't look that great. I don't know what's going on here, but it's just... My skin looks really cakey. The complexion looked nice, now it doesn't. Um, so I don't know. I just, I, for me personally, this concealer just really isn't it. I probably wouldn't go back to using it. I just wanted to try it out today again, give it a fair shot, and then tell you guys how I felt about it because I know it is something new in a drugstore, and I get really excited about new drugstore complexion products. Which leads me to foundation. We have a new Wet n Wild Photo Focus Stick Foundation. I believe this is new. It says new on it. And I just got it sent to me. So they sent me four shades. I'm going to go ahead and pick out a color. Meanwhile, um, I know nothing about this. So let's figure out what it's supposed to do. Guys, don't judge me, but I'm going in with that spray again just because... I found some info on the foundation sticks. Long story short, they're supposed to be long-lasting coverage and a breakthrough lightweight multi-dimensional formula that applies to a flawless semi-matte finish infused with argan and sunflower seed oils for intense moisture. We like that. It's cruelty-free, gluten-free, talc-free, fragrance-free, and vegan. 
that's great. I'm excited to see fragrance free because Let's make 2019 the year where there's no fragrance in anything. This is in the color Shell Ivory. All right, let's see how much product there is in here. So that's pretty much it. But you guys, it's $5.99, which honestly, that's pretty dang affordable. Wet n Wild has always been really affordable. So let's just apply this. Why does that match my skin so well? The color looks really good. It's a tad teeny bit too light, like a little bit, but honestly, it looks really good. I could just warm up my skin with some bronzer. I don't know, but this looks really good. I'm just gonna go ahead and do the rest of my face. Skin looks good. I'm definitely very glowy right now, but I am going to set my face. I have to, because I'm starting to crease around my eyes. So I'm just gonna take my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder, and I'm just gonna quickly dust this everywhere it looks really good in fact i feel like it kind of looks a little bit better my I, like where are my pores i don't know lately though my makeup's been looking really good so i think it has a lot to do with like my skincare and just keeping my skin really hydrated before foundations it's been helping a lot my skin looks very very smooth before we get into the rest of the face i'm gonna do my brows i bought this from ulta a little bit ago and i just started using it it's pretty new it's the milani stay put brow sculpting mechanical pencil i have the shade 01 taupe um i used it a couple times now and i really do like it a lot it's a really nice neutral shade it's not too dark it's not too light i think it's perfect the pencil is very creamy very easy to use and i've just been really enjoying this a lot lately let's get down to business so for my bronzer i had like two options i'm kind of like torn um i really want to use the physicians formula and casey holmes collection collaboration this is what we have inside we have the perfume which smells so good if you've ever owned a physicians formula like butter bronzer or butter butter blush it's they made a perfume, which is fantastic, perfect scent for the summertime. And she has this new lip product, which looks really pretty. It's a just shade. I'm really excited about that. But we have these butter shadows, which I've never tried. And then we have a butter bronzer, blush, and highlight. I definitely, ooh, this is, I, I think I really want to go into the eyeshadows for my blusher. I'm going to be going into the BH Cosmetics Blushing in a Bali 6 Color Blush and Highlight Palette. This palette looks gorgeous so you have the blushes on top and highlighters on the bottom perfect for every skin tone you have like light medium dark situation i'm definitely going to go into this blush right here because it's super pretty it's a nice soft matte pink shade they came up with like a whole new collection it's called tempted in traveling i believe there's an eyeshadow palette there's a blush palette and what else two eyeshadow palettes yes so it's pretty i i really like it bh cosmetics is becoming just, I don't know, like it's a really good brand. I'm loving more and more things from BH. They're doing an amazing job and it's good quality makeup and brushes. Love their brushes for good prices, so. This blush went on so nicely. I love the color. Normally I don't go super like pinky tones, but this is so cute. Wow, and it blends really good. I do wanna use the highlighter in this palette, but I think like on one side, just to test it out, I want to go into the highlighter that comes in the Physicians Formula and Casey Holmes palette. It's a limited edition shade. It's called Just Beachy. If you guys have never tried the Physicians Formula highlighters, they feel kind of like wet. Kind of similar to ColourPop, but more wet. Um, it's very interesting, very silky. I mean, like, look at that. It's beautiful. So I'm gonna, I guess, use my finger and just pop some on this side and see how it looks. That is beautiful. It went on the skin really nicely. Although I had like foundation and powder, it didn't do anything weird where like, it like separates my foundation. Oh my gosh, that looks so good. It's like, I don't see it. And then I'm like, boom, in your face. I'm gonna see how a powder highlighter kind of layers on top of it. Just maybe for extra. Why not? Okay, look how cute this brush is. Do you see that? This is from Lime Crime? Yeah. It has like little glitters in there that you can play with. So I'm gonna go into the shade Glisten, which is this lighter color. What happens? Holy mother of- Okay. 
Okay, she's highlighted. Let's just get the rest of the face glowing, shall we? That's a lot of highlight. I'm very aware. All right, complexion's complete, which means I think it's time to move on to the eyes. I'm kind of unsure what exactly I want to do, but um, I want to use some of the butter shadows in the Casey Holmes Physicians, Physicians Formula palette. And also, When a Wild has these new products, they're liquid shadows. But there's like matte ones, which I've never really tried before. And then you have like shimmery ones. Haven't tried these. I believe Huda Beauty just came out with some. It's like kind of like a duo of like a matte cream shadow and then like a shimmery one. I have those, but I haven't tried them yet. Let me know if you guys want to see that in a video. But it seems like it's like a drugstore version. And I'm very excited. I picked up like one of the matte ones that is like more neutral tone. So maybe I can see if this is going to be like a nice base underneath the shadows. I'm praying I don't put it on and then it just gets stuck in one spot. Hopefully the blendability is really good. Ooh, that's a lot of talking. I also have like a bunch of Dose of Colors uh, eyeliners that I want to try at, uh, try out as well. Also, even though I've made a separate video on the ColourPop mascaras, I will be using one of the mascaras again today. So let's just, oh, let's just do something. So this is the Wet n Wild Liquid Shadow. It's in the shade Camelback. So I don't know how quickly these dry down, so I'm going to place some on my lid. Uh, er, finger, I guess? Yeah, let's go finger. I do like the color. It's like a really nice blank canvas shade. So I don't really use eye primers and bases very- Ooh, look how good that looks. Oh, I like it. It's almost like my skin tone, maybe like a tad more warmth. But ooh la la, ooh, I like that. All right, so that shadow has dried down and it kind of just feels like skin. It's like really soft. It's not tacky whatsoever. Um, maybe like the slightest creasing, but I've had like my eyes open like this while it was kind of like still drying. So that's like my own fault. But for the most part, I really like it. It feels really nice too. I'm going to take this shade from the Casey Holmes palette. It's like a nice creamy matte nude shade. And this is going to go underneath my brow bone. This shade is called Do Not Disturb. I'm not going to lie. I'm not a huge fan of these like palettes. Only because this paper annoys me. And then it's like, it's kind of bulky. Then once you get rid of these products, it's like, what do you do with that? And it's like, where do you put this and store it? There's like a lot happening. I wish it was a little bit more compact. Um, and I'm, I, I, I don't know. Like, it's just kind of like a weird concept to me. I'm going to go to this shade right here. It's a nice warm brown and it's called No Filter. Oh, wow. Okay, very pigmented, but with a blending brush, it does have quite a bit of powder. Right, let's see how this performs on the eyes. Okay, really pigmented. It's like a really interesting formula because it scares you when you first put it on. You're like, oh my god, that's gonna be like really patchy. And the more you blend it, it's like, where's this pigment coming from? And it just kind of like blends really nicely. I'm gonna go back into that nude shade and just kind of clean up the edges a little. I'm not gonna go into this shade. It's called Tropic, like it's hot. I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take the tiniest amount of that because we've learned our lesson. And I'm gonna pop this into the crease. Ooh, that's a pretty shade. It's like similar to the color that we used, but like a little bit like a deeper version. This is like turning out a lot more dramatic than I was initially going for. I'm not gonna lie though, these feel really, really nice to blend and they look really smooth on the eye as well. I'm gonna pop some of that shade on my lower lash line. The lash shadow that we have in this palette is this beautiful emerald color. I'm gonna give this a little swatch. Ooh, that's really pretty, but I don't know if I want to go green on my lids. I'm not sure that's like the vibe I'm going for. So I think I might want to use one of these Wet n Wild Shimmer. Just hit myself in the face. Shimmer Liquid Shadows. This color is called Cashmere Love. I think I'm going to go straight on the lids. I'm going to go into like a little flat brush. I'm just going to help move this product around a little bit more precise. And we cannot go back and layer it if we feel like we need to. Just to see how it layers, I'm going to add a little bit more, just mostly in the center. I'm going to take some of the shadow from the Physicians Formula palette. And I'm just going to clean up the edges a little bit. There is one eye done. I think it's definitely dried down a little bit. It's not transferring a lot. So let me go ahead and do the other eye real quick. For the inner corners of my eyes, I'm going to take the highlighter from the Physicians Formula palette. And I'm going to pop that on the inner corners of my eye. Ooh. I think I'm good with these shadows. And now I'm going to take the new Dose of Colors eyeliners. This is in the shade Unbox. And it's a really pretty warm brown shade. 
I'm going to pop this into my waterline. That went on so nicely. Normally I have to like really get in there and go over it a few times, but I didn't have to press hard or tug my eye. It just glides on. You get all of that pigment. It's super pretty and creamy. I'm just kind of curious. I want to like swatch it on the back of my hand. Oh yeah. That's a really nice pencil. I'm going to go into a little bit of a darker brown shade. This is called Sketch. It's this one right here. And I think I'm going to try to create a really thin little eyeliner on the top just so I have a little bit of something on my lids. So that is with the liner and that's without. I think it definitely did something to the eye look. I really liked it. Color's really nice. It went on really easily again, especially on top of something like more glittery. Sometimes it's harder to get it to go on. Um, I will say the Wet n Wild Glitter Shadow. I feel like if you kind of touch it or try to move it around, um, you are going to get little glitter flakes and I feel like it might kind of flake off a little. But if you don't touch it, I feel like it'll be just fine, but it does kind of crumble. I did put on like like a good two, three layers, so maybe don't layer as much, but you really don't feel anything on your eyes, like really, really comfortable. And I still really do like it a lot. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye real quick. All right, so now I'm gonna go into mascara. This is the new ColourPop BFF Volumizing Mascara. I have been really liking this a lot. This is what the wand looks like. I do have a video all about these up already. But I figured I would use it again for you guys. I have literally been using this pretty much in my last few videos. Um, I've been doing like mascara off camera. I don't know if anybody's noticed. But, I mean I usually do, but this is what I've been using. So this is the finished eye look with the mascara on. I love it. I love all the colors together. That wet and wild on the lid looks super pretty. I'm very impressed with those shadows, especially the matte cream one we used as a base. I think I might actually be reaching for that again because even though I don't wear primers and bases for my eyes, I really like that product. Very easy to use. The Physicians Formula shadows, really pretty, seamless blend, really pigmented, but once you get it like under control and you'll learn your mistake, it's really easy to use and I really like it a lot. Overall, amazing. I love the dose pencils. Very creamy and easy to use. And there's so many different colors, you guys. All right, so the eyes are done. Let's move on to the lips. Okay, so I didn't realize that I had already picked out a lip combo I really wanted to wear. Whether it matches my eyes or not, um, I'm still gonna go with it. And that is red. I really wanna try out the new Dose of Colors lip pencils. And this is a new M Cosmetics lipstick in the shade Love. They did a collaboration with Love 146. So I don't know, I really wanted to do a red lip today. I mean, I feel like it'll still look good. I'm gonna start off with the Dose of Colors Lip Pencil. This is in the shade Snappy. I'm really excited about these as well. If they perform just as well as the eyeliners, I'm excited. Oh wow, these are amazing. They're very creamy, but not like too creamy. And the pigmentation's amazing. One line and I'm, I'm good, I'm, I'm happy. So that is just the lip liner on my lips. I kind of wanted to see what it's like kind of filled in a little bit more all over my lips. It feels really good. It's not super drying, but it's matte and it does not transfer. This is like the budge proof all day wear type of lip liner and I love that. You bet your bottom dollar I'm going to be wearing all the just shade lip liners like all over my lips for like an everyday more defined plump look. I love, I love lip liners so much so I'm very impressed with these. Now I'm going to go into the M Cosmetics lipstick. Let's go in. Ooh, this is like, okay, first of all, it smells really good, but this is like a velvety, oh, wow. It's already like matte and moussey. I'm wondering if this is just like one of those like soft matte, more satin lipsticks, but they transfer. We'll see. We'll give it a second to dry. And this is the final look. I do have to say, I kind of like the red lips of the eye look. Maybe it's like too much for some people, but I think it looks really glam and really pretty um the lipstick it definitely transfers i think it's just one of those soft matte lip creams but it's so comfortable to wear so i really don't mind that it transfers um, i actually really love the way it looks on my lips it's not super drying but it looks like velvet so i'm really happy with that wow that's like the perfect little kiss mark oh my god i thought the face is done let's throw it back to the beginning and talk about the products that i liked Dislike how it's looking, what's going on. This little priming spray, honestly, I'm not really sure if it did anything, but 
I did like how my skin felt and it smelled really nice. It was very refreshing and just felt very hydrated. So I will definitely try this again. I didn't mind that at all. For the concealer, I do have to say looking at my skin, like my under eyes, it looks a lot better than the first time I tried it. I think the hydrating products, the eye cream definitely helped this look a little bit better. It's still something that's a little bit like finicky for me like if i don't feel like wearing eye cream that day i feel like it's just gonna be like super dry and really makeupy under me under me eyes <laughs> under my eyes am i a pirate so um i'm not gonna lie it doesn't look bad i do have creasing but i will always have creasing no matter what concealer i try because i have natural lines and it creases the end the wet and wild foundation this foundation surprised me because first of all the shade worked so nice it was a little bit like pale but like the tone of it i was very shocked for a drugstore foundation it wasn't too pink it wasn't like too orange on my skin it didn't oxidize weird it kind of like warmed up to look good once i have the rest of my makeup done like this looks amazing i love the color i i'm like i have to give it to that like bravo on that like i'm very happy with it the way it blended out like butter on my skin it looks so good so flawless amazing coverage honestly like i didn't have to go in with two layers a few swipes and i was already set it looked so pretty i set it it still looked really really pretty and flawless now looking at my skin i've had it on for at least an hour now like it's taken me forever to get through this but i have to say looking far away i look so flawless and so pretty it doesn't look super flat i still have some luminous in my skin luminous luminosity <laughs> but bringing the mirror up close it still looks really good i don't have like crazy creasing on my skin my smile lines in between my brows like it looks really good i'm not gonna lie it does look a little bit more like makeup now especially maybe around my nose and like my chin area for 5.99 stick foundation from the drugstore it's so good i'm gonna see how this wears i'm gonna keep my makeup on for as long as i can today i'll definitely leave a note down below letting you guys know how it goes so please check that out i'm curious to see how it goes too um the rest of the stuff that i use the bronzer and blush the highlighters love everything worked out fantastically on my skin you guys like the eye products i okay, almost poked my eye out the eye products the brow product the lip products very happy i don't think there's something i tried that i didn't like i don't think i need to go through every single product again because i think you guys get the point i think you guys get that i loved it it looks really good i'm happy with the look i'm feeling myself oh what did i just do there <laughs> i'm feeling myself i hope you enjoyed this video found it helpful let me know if you guys have tried these products and what do you guys think about them as usual don't forget to follow me on twitter messy jesse beauty instagram makeup by jesse if you are not already subscribed to my channel Please do so before you go. I appreciate it so very much. And also hit that little bell so you're notified every time I do post a new video and you don't miss out. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye, guys. <laughs>